And fire danger is a top concern here in our county as well. Cal Fire reminds residents to be prepared because fire season has now shifted year round across our state. Fox 5's Claire Benitez is live in Rancho Bernardo, where the city is just now fixing street damages, damages from the Witch Creek fire that happened back in 2007. Clara, long time. A long time, Misha, and good evening to you. Well, this community was greatly impacted by that fire, and they're still recovering. More than 300 homes did burn during that 2007 fire. Now, Cal Fire says that residents should not be alarmed when they hear that the Santa Ana winds will be blowing, but instead be prepared in case of an emergency. What we're seeing now is it really a year round fire season statewide. Captain Thomas shoots with Cal Fire San Diego says over the last 10, 20 years, there has been a shift in fire seasons. We'll get little pockets of, of uh, hope where we don't have uh, as much fire activity when there's snow on the ground, um, when it's downpouring rain, of course. But really, those events are just buying us some time. An example of a fire that can start any time the Colorado Fire burning through Big Sur closing both directions of the iconic Highway 1. That's an area that typically gets even more rainfall than San Diego. So it just shows the potential down here. We keep getting relatively lucky down in, in San Diego and really in Southern California as a whole. Um, but that doesn't mean that we don't have the potential to burn this time of year. Cal Fire San Diego sending 46 firefighters to help fight the flames. Crews that are on scene right now were able to make a lot of progress. So uh, hopefully it's going to be a quick trip and they're able to come back in a few days. But um, really, we, we, we don't know until, until it's completely out, and those winds certainly played a factor up there last night. Captain Schutz wants to remind residents not to be on edge when wind or red flag warnings appear, but instead be prepared. Have a plan for your pets, have a plan for your livestock, and do all that ahead of time so that if the need arises and you do have to evacuate, you're able to do so safely with your family and in the calmest manner possible. According to the, to the National Weather Service, the windiest places will be in the Inland Empire, close to the Santa Ana Mountains. But reporting live here from Rancho Bernardo, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News. All right.